Channel 3, where the news comes first. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm C.J. Ward. We begin tonight with the latest on the Volkswagen scandal. New calls tonight for the German automaker to recall more vehicles and stop selling some cars altogether. The scandal involves 11 million Volkswagens equipped with software to cheat U.S. emissions testing. They include diesel versions of five popular models built between 2009 and 2015. The company says it's moving forward with a fast fix. Now, many of those cars were sold locally. News Channel 3 senior reporter John Palminteri joins us live from Santa Barbara. And John, as we saw at 5 o'clock, you have one of those cars. That's right. Full disclosure, I'm the owner of this car. This is a turbo diesel injected TDI Volkswagen Jetta. The TDI, as you see here, right here on the top of the engine. The big concerns are the false claims that were made when this uh, was sold to customers and the other models you referenced as clean burning engines. And now the pollution that is being reported because of the technical problems uh, that were bypassed here. So. What does this mean? Certainly it's going to affect sales, brand loyalty, and many customers we talk to are very nervous about the resale values. I love the car, but if it's devalued, then I would switch in a moment. With less than 2,000 miles on her new Volkswagen TDI Golf, this owner is shocked to hear the company deceived car buyers. I'd like my money back. It's only been a month. I'll take it back and start all over again, buy something else. The Environmental Protection Agency says Volkswagen diesel TDI engines have a part that kicks in during emissions testing and gives the car an approval, but is not working the rest of the time, and that creates illegal pollution. In some cases, up to 40 times more than the allowable levels. It's an issue for diesel VW Jettas, Beetles, Golfs, and the Passat, along with the Audi A3. The big question will be how much this has impacted the value and performance of the cars. Owners speaking to us today said they bought their cars for many reasons, including the efficiency of what were called clean burning engines. Yes, I was here now misled by buying a car which is uh, not as clean as they uh, claimed. I really don't care about, about the resale value. I care about more that I drive a clean car. That right. is my opinion. The local dealers are fielding calls from TDI customers, but so far solutions from VW and Audi have not been announced. I'm just disappointed. My month-old car is now devalued. I don't think that's ever going to change, ever. And dealers have also been told by VW not to sell the remaining 2015 TDI cars on their lots. And the Volkswagen Group also, as you know, owns Audi and that has a concern with the A3 model which is a TDI engine as well. They also own Porsche and Lamborghini and Bentley as well. What I'm waiting for in the mail is that letter because I'd like to have that part fixed so that I can drive a cleaner car and meet those California emissions that we all are striving for. Parting live in Santa Barbara, I'm John Palmentary, News Channel 3. Okay and John will let us know when he receives that letter. News Channel 3 was the first to tell you about a lawsuit filed in Santa Barbara County Court against Volkswagen. The lawyer filing that class action suit says the local plaintiff's attorney, Barry Capello, joined in the litigation. Angry drivers are now taking to our Facebook page. Kevin Contreras saying, quote, there goes the resale value and America's interest in diesel cars, end quote. Still others staying loyal. Jen Gilmore writes that she will still be a faithful Volkswagen driver, quote, you have not broken my trust. There's more information about the recall and the class action suit on our website at KEYT.com. More bad news tonight for Hagen and its workers. The company announced today it's leaving the Pacific.